Hey everybody, welcome to Geektoid, and this is our first installment of Pod of Nerds. This is our podcast that we're going to do from time to time. I'm joined with my friends Max and Jack, and uh, Max, you saw a movie recently. This movie I saw uh, called The Circle. The it's Circle? Based, it's based off of a book. The um, Circle Jerk. Yeah, The Circle Jerk. <laughs> it, was, it was starring Emma Watson, and it was about a circle jerk. <laughs> But uh, seriously, Emma Watson was in it, and John Boyega was in it. Um, probably no pun you're, intended. You're, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like, but you probably shouldn't ever show, talk about this. Oh, show this on like Facebook or something like that because I'm probably not supposed to talk about this movie because no. it's actually on the screen. Please. Oh, it's a new but, movie. No, no, yeah. please. Uh, to fight, divulge. But but surprisingly, I read the script for this when I when I which was one? Like, uh, the circle. I because because it was based on a book, but I read the script to it when I was working at Spec Scout. And uh, do you and still I, work at Spec Scout? I still do. <laughs> and, and I was like, and I was like, oh, the script is the script is fine. You could work on it a little bit, whatever. And then I find out it's being made into a movie. So it's like, no matter what I said, they were going to make it into a movie. Starring Emma Watson and John Boyega. Yeah. Starring Emma Watson, John Boyega, and Tom Hanks. <laughs> and Tom. <laughs> yeah. No, and Tom Hanks is in it. And I was like, but starring but, Hermione Granger, Finn, Wo- and Woody. <laughs> and Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what he's round up. <laughs> but, but, but anyway, anyway. It reminds me just the way that you said that and starring Tom Hanks. That yeah. just reminded me of like the Chappelle show whenever you guys watching. And then Art Mooney came on and was like, yes. Did you actually you got, sign an NDA? No, got, I didn't actually. You know, you've got The Last Samurai so with. Fine. Actually, what I did sign an NDA for was The Great Wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you, should, well, you shouldn't talk about that one, but yeah. tell us more about the circle. So jerk. So it's about this, it's about this girl played by Emma Watson, who who is like tired of her like you know job, and, and but the friend of her is like, oh, I got this great job, this great job for you at this at this place called the Circle, and like, and which which is like a sort like a sort of like a kind of a ghoulish kind of thing, but it's also it's also very big on surveillance as well, like or like it wants to put cameras to, to, to watch like life and stuff or. Or even even like hidden security cameras that that, that people wouldn't recognize, and, and so a crime is being committed. They're like, oh, I saw that. It's like, mm. but um, kind of so, like and, now. Yeah, and so so Tom Hanks is the leader of the circle and stuff. And Pat oh. Oswald is his lackey, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, so, a, a, real, a, a, real, a really like a really eclectic cast we got here. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of uh, avant garde yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's like and and she's like, oh, this place is great. And, you know, she starts off. It's very rocky, and then, 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 but, but she gets the hang of it. And she becomes like the top employee within like five hours, <laughs> so, wow. and what feels like five, what feels like a day. It's like, but, um, but, but, but as she starts going deeper into the circle, they, they want to get more surveillance to the point where they want to like actually have you like wear cameras in your eyes in order to, in order for you to like go about your day and live stream it to the world and stuff. And like, and that's pretty much like the, the premise. of movie okay and like and it doesn't like, sound too bad yeah it doesn't sound no, too bad no like it doesn't sound too bad it's actually a it's really, necessary it's actually a really great premise yeah. and like and, but it like but the, both, both the script and the film don't really go anywhere special kind of thing it's just like she's just like oh this is bad i don't want to do this anymore at the end kind of thing or at least in the script she's like oh this is bad but i kind of like it the end mm. <laughs> so they, they, they made it much more happier in the film but but uh, but what's funny is that John Boyega, like he was ultimately useless in the movie. Like it feels like they just cast him because of John Boyega and he was in Star Wars. <laughs> He's a name now. Yeah. No, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, cause, yeah. Cause now, now Star Wars there with the new latest one. Yeah, because he was, was he the black guy. Yeah, he was. He was oh, fit. the black guy. <laughs> black guy. <laughs> Hey, he had, what, a, he had a what, name, dude. What, what, uh, okay, what's his name? I, his name, I know. His name was Finn Big Black Guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, you mean the Black Stormtrooper? Yes. <laughs> he was Finn Big Black Guy. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I, uh, no, his name was just Finn. Or well, F- see, F- I didn't F- know who it was until he, tur- like he pulled off his helmet. So, yeah, but... but <laughs> But, but, like, in the script, he was... We like, found shit! <laughs> you his, mean he wasn't a clone? Yeah. <laughs> like, in the, in the script, it was a much more prominent, like, kind of role, or... or we gotta comb the desert! Or, yeah. Or, no. But, but in the script for The Circle, he was a much more prominent character who was like, I don't need your help to take down The Circle. Like, this was my idea, but now they've perverted it into something horrible. And, like, and, and then he was... And then he and, he and the girl would start a relationship and whatever. But in the script, they took out... In the movie, they took out the relationship... The, the, they, they took out like the possibility of rebelling against the circle mm. it was just like he was just kind of like yeah I'm the creator uh, I don't really like what they're doing but oh well and then at the end he's just like yeah the end <laughs> <laughs> he just said at the end <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where he shoots at it and it just 
<laughs> and a so, flag comes out says the end. Yeah, and I'm just thinking to myself, it's like, did you just cast him because he knew he was gonna be in Star Wars? Yeah. Was he? It's I guess Max. I got a secret for you. Yes, yes. they did. Yes. Was, was it at least a good movie? It was a. It was a decent movie. It was a decent movie. It was a decent movie. So. Um, like, Utterly, a, uh, it was utterly a forgettable movie then. Well, it was it was memorable enough for me to tell you what the plot was. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, it was and, decent. I mean, that's yeah. probably it was probably not very good. Yeah, it was like a three out of five. <laughs> <laughs> three out of five. Wouldn't see it again. Three, unlike, out, three out of five. Uh, uh, unlike Ghostbusters, who? Oh my god! I who, was gonna bring who, up Ghostbusters who, earlier. Who I? The only characters Just names I can it. remember are Yates and Holtzman. So, like I, I, uh, that's it. I can't remember any of the I, other. Characters I remember names. all of them, but I, remember, but I like the movie less than you did. <laughs> like the movie less. Oh, really? So I don't you know. Guys I, I, I actually, like the film. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not like I don't. We might we might like it on the like as much as the other. You know, I think my dislike for it is probably as much as yours. The only problem is is that. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, well, no, say, no, 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 no. It's no, just, no, it's just like, it's, a, it's it, but because, because, yeah, I could, I could throw a lot of hate towards that movie, but ultimately, I just don't give a two fucks. Yeah, because about even, the film, because, and 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 yeah. that's what makes me a very, very indifferent, and makes me want to like well, say, well, but, say, well, say, well, like wait, I don't care well, wait, as much you about say, it. You say you don't care that much about it, but you did go out to go see it. Though. I went to go see it because I was curious about it. You know, I actually was kind mm-hmm. of rooting for it because, you know, I wanted to like a Ghostbusters movie. We're of not, course, we're, you did. We, this, like, this is the first <laughs> you know? Ghostbusters movie we've been yeah. we've gotten since '89. You know, I yeah. mean, I didn't. I didn't want it to fail or anything. But and by ultimately, the way, it was in box. You ultimately, know, like I have, hell I have, the way, I, too. other than like some, like a couple jokes that kind of hit. The majority of the movie was just like I just don't care about this movie. Mm. There was nothing yeah. about the movie I care about. Mm. I don't. And there's a lot of people like like my cousin. Or people on the internet are like, well, why don't, like, if it's that bad, why don't you just come out and say you hated it? Why don't you just like, well, I just don't have the fucking energy. Yeah. There, there's not enough energy for me to put into this yeah. movie. See, that's the problem. You, if you have any type of negative feedback at all, immediately you're like, you're marked as a, you're misogynist. a, a misogynist or, or someone like well, that. Well, I don't or, really you know care I mean? because, yeah. you know what, I, I watched this YouTuber or you're a called, fool, um, you know? I, yeah. I, I just watched this YouTuber who had a great, uh, Oh, a, a great video James about Rolfe? about about was it James Rolfe? No, 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 no. The it was angry her, video game nurse. She, right, no, no. Her her right, name right. is uh, yeah. um, Comic Book Girl nineteen. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And uh, she had a great video about why it's okay to hate. It's and in fact, it's 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 more than okay mm. to come out and and speak uh, against uh, the new Ghostbusters movie without having to be labeled uh, as a misogynist. Or, I think I saw that. And you have that I crap. Uh, no, no. She she had, she made up some fairly good points, and I'm just like. Yeah, you know, I, I can say that. You know, I could come out and see, be like, "Whoa, fuck this movie!" and blah blah blah. It's like, well, but do I, want I don't to? have the energy for this movie. The movie doesn't warrant the energy. Like, yeah. I could, I really have deep hatred for Michael Bay's and oh. Jonath, Jonathan Leesman's fucking Ninja yes. Turtles movie from yeah. two thousand. Oh. From, two, uh, from 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 twenty fourteen. But it's and like, I have deep fucking hatred. I know for for Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. Like though, like I have more hatred now for Man of Steel than I ever had for Brian Singer's Superman, Superman Returns, Returns. <laughs> and I would not shut the fuck up about Superman Returns for a good five years. Yeah, yeah. Now, now yeah. He won't. Wow. And that like now, it. now no. I'm like um not, now now like, we're on year three of Man of Steel, and he won't shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> it's just like it's <laughs> Daryl. It's 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 more like well. Looking, looking back on it, and somehow I'm the bad guy for talking shit about Prometheus. Mm. <laughs> I never said anything about Prometheus. You know, but that's <laughs> interesting you too. What you you you, like, you you tried to prove I was stupid at one point. <laughs> Really? Yeah. It's like, cause, <laughs> I, I really don't remember it. Yeah. Hey, you might have been, Daryl, you might have been drinking that Cause, night. Because cause, cause <laughs> I, I was complaining about how stupid Prometheus was. I mean, and, and then you're like, oh yeah, well, what was the opening sequence meant to signify? And you actually asked me that, and I was just like, the creation of life on Earth, and you're just like, 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's good. Well, no. I actually don't remember that. Yeah. No, hey, hey, we'll, <laughs> I apologize. No, no, no. Apologize. No, hold that thought. That we'll get into that. No, right because after uh, this. like, I, no, no. I, I just, I remember like going to see Prometheus and thinking it was a pretty good space thriller. You gave it a four out of four. <laughs> a four out of four. <laughs> you did. Not yeah, a five out of five. You, know, you gave it like a perfect rating. No, 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 Daryl, you really enjoyed the film. <laughs> yeah, and it's Ridley Scott. You really liked it. Yeah. And they're coming out with the second one. Um, now, which looks better? Now, which why do you? Why did you not like it? Max? Because that in, that that entire spaceship was supposed to be filled with scientists, geologists, the smartest people on the planet. And everyone, yeah. and everyone did the wrong thing throughout the entire yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Max, I could actually side <laughs> with you on that. I agree. That did bother me watching it. Stuff. Well, like, oh. I mean. I, I can argue that about almost anything. Like, if, if you guys... <laughs> it, have you seen, like, like just for a recent example, Stranger Things? Right. Everybody except for, like, the kids are doing everything wrong. <laughs> and maybe the police officer, right? Yeah, but they're not, they're not supposed to be, like, super smart scientists on a mission to... Yeah, these are people. Remember, Daryl. Well, these are people I mean, with PhDs. They're, 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 they're like they're like normal Joes or police officers just doing their jobs ignorantly. I don't know. I, like, I still uh, like. like, like yeah, you have a scene. You have a scene. Where the, you have a scene where the geologist takes two balls and maps out the entire place, and he still gets lost in his own fucking cave. <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I haven't seen that movie in a while. <laughs> you, you just kind of need to watch it again. And right? apparently, when I when upon initial uh, apparently, <laughs> when I initially saw this, I was really into it because just judging by Max's thing, he's like, "Yeah, you called me out and called me stupid," and, <laughs> and hey, I'm like, hey, "I did. I don't remember yeah, this shit at hey, all. I remember us. Hey. I remember us tussling about Superman Returns Darryl, and subsequently been... Man of Steel, but I don't remember Prometheus at all. <laughs> I never called you stupid over Darryl, Man of Steel. You're I, was like, I disagree with you. He uh, has, a, you know. He has memory, and he remembers this. He well, processed this. I mean, <laughs> we 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 have gone we have gone toe to toe on almost every single Transformers movie except for the last one. Oh yeah. God, you guys even waste energy on those. Well, here's the, the, the funny part was like I think the third one, Dark of the Moon, right? Um, uh, sure. Like, like I went to go, I went to a midnight screening of uh, Dark of the Moon just because I. Uh, X at the time I wanted to see it because he had a and date and he gave no it kidding. an A minus yeah. and, and, and 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 an I, A minus I really really enjoyed Dark of the Moon but not because it was a good film it because it was so stupid it was shit it was like when I first watched Birdemic Shock and Terror at the time it was so like it it was so badly made I was just cracking up. At it, and it made me appreciate the film a little bit. So I, I, I ultimately had a, a takeaway of a good memory of just laughing at it. The same thing with Superman: The Quest for Peace. I was just like, this movie, this movie is so shitty. Like I, 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 I hold it to a higher regard than Superman Returns or Man of Steel. <laughs> and uh, that is something I am going to get shit for later. Uh, <laughs> but I, because it's so crappily made and the premise are so stupid and everything in that movie is so stupid, I enjoyed myself. I, I watched it with Strider at the time. I was just like, this is hilarious. <laughs> like, oh, I, you could take this shit serious. Like, this is, like, and taking that, taking it as a, com a comedic farce, uh. <laughs> I enjoy myself, and that's. I did not like the first Transformers movie. Um, I liked the first half of the second Transformers movie, yeah. and every it just fell apart afterwards. But I really enjoyed how stupid <laughs> Dark of the Moon was. So, so this story was going to go somewhere. <laughs> Matt, uh, Max and Ilya like... call me right after we get out of the midnight screen of Dark of the Moon, and they're like, and they're like, oh. um... Oh my god, did you see Dark of the Moon? Like, wasn't it amazing? It was like, oh, well, and I was like, dude, what'd you think? Like, because I, 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 I remember I remember having my phone out and I, I put something on Facebook like, oh, uh, I enjoyed Dark of the Moon or something like that. And so, so Elliot gives me a call and he's like, wasn't it amazing? That was great. I'm like, oh my god, it was so, it was so fun and stupid. And then yeah. they just, all I heard was silence and I'm like, oh, I wouldn't call it stupid. I was like, but that was half the fucking fun. It was the stupidest I wouldn't call it fucking stupid. movie. No, right after that. The stupidest fucking movie I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> <laughs> but it was hilarious in how stupid it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And good, that's good. why I enjoyed myself watching this movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the stupidest movie I've ever nice. seen. 
I've seen stupider movies. Oh, I've seen stupider movies. Yeah. Too. I'm just saying. Like I, I was, I was being um, hyperbolic. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. It's like, no. but like the thing is with the Transformers movies, like I, I, I like them all. But you the, do? I do. God, like, that is so funny. I, yeah, I, just, I can't I know, get over I know, that. I know, I know it's hilarious. It's a laugh riot. No, I just, I just, I just movies, they're just you straight you out. You just, shit. you just like them out. Yeah, like remember <laughs> we were talking about that. Yeah, that that one guy. Yeah, who would just call you out on this all the time yeah. and, and but, guilt but, trip you for but, liking it so much? I mean, Daryl wouldn't do that. No, but I mean, people on the he internet should. would do that. What? Guilt, <laughs> guilt trip me for liking the movie. Um, I used to. Yeah, he used to. Uh, <laughs> you've retired we, from No, that, well, huh? because no, we kidding. used to argue so much, and I'm like, it's not worth it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, whatever, you You're know like, what? It's I, never well, gonna well, end. We're going to agree to disagree on yeah. things and everything. Because <sighs> here's the thing. You can absolutely respect Michael Bay as a business person. He knows exactly what his audience wants. He knows exactly how to milk money. Oh, milk, milk. His audience for as much money Jeez, as possible. No kidding. <laughs> you know, and 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 then as from a business side, as a producer, he's fucking amazing. As a director and an mm. artist, he sucks. He's not an artist at all. He just makes brainless entertainment. But you cannot artificial movies. You 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 cannot say that. You 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 will not be able to say of Michael Bay that he is Truffaut. He is Hitchcock. Oh, no. Are you kidding? I mean, he's not even Spielberg. He doesn't make artistic looking movies. Oh my god, I thought of the best premise for a movie. Did you know No 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 no, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 real fast, real fast. Okay. Did you did you know that Megan Fox's audition for Transformers was going to Michael Bay's house and washing a car? <laughs> that, oh my really? <laughs> no, 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 that's that on was, the Blu-ray too, no, it's no, was that the trivia? <laughs> trivia? No, 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 that's not trivia. trivia. I was like that, and he that. Ta- and he videotaped it. That he's a he's a he's a he is a misogynistic motherfucker. You know what? But well, at I least don't... he makes money. There, yeah, no, and if it can ever is. make as much money okay, as he, but that doesn't right. surprise me at all. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say I just thought of the best premise. I'm surprised South Park hasn't done, picked this up or anything. Exalting um, Michael Bay as equivalent to like. At a Hitchcock or one of those great guys, like no. everybody worshiping, you know, like making something like that, like just blowing him up. Come on, that would be they, funny. They'll make a parody That'd of Michael a, Bay, but yeah, they'll never yeah. hold him to that standard. What are you talking about? If you're the ever, greatest of the. No, no, no. If, 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 if you've <laughs> ever seen the Imagination Land, hey, come closer. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I have to be in frame. <laughs> How's my high quality hair? That's what I'm concerned. That's actually the, the main part while we're filming. Yeah, in the Imagination Land episode. In the Imagination Land episode, they get a bunch of directors together. It's like, we need strategy. So they get, like, uh, they get M. Night Shyamalan, and all he just does is give them twists and stuff. And then they bring in Michael Bay, and he's just like, and then... (laughs) And he's like, uh, Mr. Bay, explosions uh, explosions aren't plot devices. It's like, what's the difference? We know what you think. Get out of here. That was good. What's this from? What's this uh, South Park. Park. Oh, yeah. nice. So oh, they a, did do something like, like that. It's like a three-part. Ima- it's a three-parter called Imagination Land. Yeah. Actually, actually, what's what's funny about the word misogyny is that I have very few, few trigger points, and that word is one of them because a lot of people do not get what that what that means. Trigger points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So so. All right. All right. Hold on. Let, so me talk, in, let me talk. Let me talk. Because misogyny is the hatred of women. Like fuck you. I hate you. Like, making a woman wash her car is not misogynist. No, 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 no. Uh, I, that's why I was going to correct myself. I was going to be like, I am okay, so he's not it's misogynist. A, it's, 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 he is a pervert. Yes, uh, <laughs> he's a go. big pervert. You could say that. Because to me, like, misogyny is not showing a woman being sexy. Well, misogyny to me is someone walking up to a woman and go, fuck you, bitch, <laughs> doing that. Which is which is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 in a nutshell. Oh, my God. Okay, Matt, Matt, Matt. Okay, this is just a uh, coincidence, but... You literally just brought that up. I just saw some reviews on those movies, uh-huh. and I was thinking in my head, like, I, I agree. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if these movies were rebooted again, yeah. these Halloween movies, just for the trilogy. He tried. You know, he did it his own way. That's what John Carpenter advised him to do. He said, you may do it. Uh, just do it your own. Make it your own. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and but, that's what he did. <laughs> I think people really need to understand what, the, exactly what, the, what, what, the, what the word misogyny means. It doesn't mean, oh, look, it's... 
look, her cleavage is showing off. Oh, cool. Why not? Why not? It's like, oh, you're misogynist. It's like, oh, I don't really yeah, like Ghostbusters. Oh, you fucking misogynist. No, no, It's like, hey, that chick is hot. Like, oh, you fucking misogynist. It's like, no, it's just subjective. Like, even there Pat two Oswald had a, you know, was kind of getting on this guy. The James oh, James Rolfe? Yeah, yeah, about, you know, he even had a comment to smirk about it, you know? <laughs> it's hard for me to enjoy that. My Something little pony snarky. episode that had Pat Oswald in it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And then, and then Pat Oswald actually got some hate mail from, from other people like, oh, yeah, is this because your wife just died? Yeah, that was, that was a bit like low. That. that was a little That low. was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not a bit. That was but, super low. But the thing is, he's putting himself in a vulnerable position, too. Yeah. He's a big figure. He's a celebrity, so it's yeah. like, you're gonna, you know, receive yeah. this I, stuff. I, I obviously missed this entire thing. I don't oh, even yeah. know what you guys are talking about. Oh, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's all of a sudden. But apparently, Tom and Oswald was on My Little Pony and got shit for it. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, all, yeah. all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden ooh. you know what I mean, Daryl? And all of a sudden, all, it, we just turned to him. What do you think about that? You're like, uh, Pat and Oswald, he's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, what do you think about it, Daryl? <laughs> Say yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but if you'll like, indulge me for going back to Michael Bay for a second. Oh, no! Back. Back to the Bay. The sequel. <laughs> Search for more money. Yeah. Back to the Bay. Is, is that... Is that... <laughs> well, Mike? Is that... Is that... I, I grew up on his movies. Like, like, like I saw The Rock at a drive-in. I love The Rock. I, oh, okay. I, 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 okay. Saw, I saw Armageddon like four times in the theater. I love Armageddon. I saw The Rock in theater uh, as well. I did enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah. As I the had, like, the Rock is actually a movie I will say that it was probably the only Michael Bay film I liked. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I, like, I, but, I agree. But it's, it's, yeah. like, it's because of those movies that I always kept keep following him. It's like because I, I, I keep getting interested in there whenever move, whatever movie he made. Because yeah. even at a, even at a very young age, I knew what kind of movie he he made. He just made this just mindless explosion fest. A little bit of drama, but not too much because yeah, you want to get to the explosions. Was, it was a good it's movie. like, and like Armageddon is like, I love Armageddon yeah. to death, it's like because it's because it's so silly, but it's also very sincere about its silliness. Like it kind of it kind of plays it straight. This face, is which when is it started fun. to get a little yeah, you know, wacky. Like, but 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 wacky, but goofy. But truly goofy Bay did not come to me until <laughs> Bad Boys Two. Oh, that was one of the goofiest movies. Actually, I had to movies. sit and watch that. Was that was one of the movie. goofiest two and a half hours I've had had to sit through. You know, through. and like, but I, uh, but but the thing is. I had a blast watching it because it was so stupid, but it was and, it, and because it was two and a half hours oh, long. Oh, I know. I know. So, like, you so it's a but, Transformers three of like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like, but I I, I, I love it because it, it, it doesn't it doesn't make any pretensions. It doesn't make it doesn't it doesn't claim to be a smart. I mean, movie. it's so bad you like, can't stop watching it. Like Michael Bay is just Michael just, like, just like, oh, you guys gave me one hundred thirty million dollars. Well, here's your fucking movie. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I a, thought that Bad Boys Two could have redeemed itself only if Will Smith and Martin Lawrence died in the end. <laughs> That's what like, I thought. Like, like, and so, in a way that would redeem itself. And like, but but it, it seems like from that point on, all Michael Bay has done is try to make Bad Boys Two again and again, and even and that then and then that, that has extended to the Transformers movie. I think Michael Bay's the real bad boy. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Like, cause, cause, cause Transformers One, that was that was heavily more ex- influenced by Steven Spielberg, because Steven Spielberg was very heavily in the tra- in the first movie. Was that's he a, rumored a, to direct? Uh, well, he was like supposed to, and then he was like, I don't want to do this. Hey, Michael Bay, you want to make a Transformers movie? And he was like, Nah. And then, but he's the, playing with his explosion. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's like. Nah, I'm good. And like, and then, but then Michael Bay was like, "Hey, you want to come to Hasbro?" It's like, no, "Oh, no, this, no. this is pretty cool." No, no. Steven Spielberg gave Michael Bay an exploding yeah. offer. Yes. And he's <laughs> like, but then, but then when, but then when Transformers One was a huge hit, they were, they were like, "Okay, we want you to do Transformers Two now." But Steven Spielberg was gonna be like, "I'll let you do this," and he kind of bounced out of the room. And so Michael Bay was stuck making his own movie. And so each movie. Since Transformers, since Transformers Two has been a Michael Bay movie, yeah. so with Steven Spielberg gone, it got dumber. It's like because of it. Probably why like, it got a little bit more enjoyable for me. Yeah, I mean, how did like, they like, make, make six? Seven? They, they made four. They're currently making five right now. <laughs> like, but and, they, and ever since, ever since like the third one, Michael Bay's like, I'm not coming back to the Transformers movies, and then he comes back. Yeah. Like, like this is okay. So so. Uh, oh, can we offer for, you a uh, well, million dollars? How many millions of dollars? So uh, offer Beast Wars. It? What was it? What was that last one called? Oh, Age of Extinction. Age of Extinction. That's gonna be my last Transformers movie. Okay, I'll do another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, here's, yeah. Here's, here's the thing. Paramount does not want anybody else to do Transformers. 
like the like the, except the, Michael Bay. Except Michael Bay. So they keep trying to get him back. They're like, he's like, Dark of the Moon. That's my last Transformers movie. Anyone, you guys could do whatever you want. With well, the next I don't movies. think that it's he, like, and, and it's like, I just want to leave and do my own personal movies. My, my does own he films. really want yeah. to? Yeah, it's like, and then and then, but the, but Paramount's is like, no, no, we want you to come back. It's like I, I want to do my I, I want to do my own movies right now. It's like, I think the, he's good at he'll he'll take orders from them. Yeah. Like he'll do it their okay, way. But, but, but then, but then Paramount comply. says Paramount says, okay, we'll let you do this movie. We'll fund this movie for you, but come back for Transformers. And that's what makes him come back. Is oh. that it's like so because between Transformers three Bargain. and four was Pain and Gain. <laughs> oh, I like Pain and Gain. Yeah, and Pain and Gain I Pain and Gain was his one. passion project. That was the movie he always wanted to make. And like and so he got to make it and you know it's, it's it was it was a it was a great movie about stupid people. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, but uh, and then so so then he came back for Transformers Four. Like that, that came like a lot, a lot of people hated it of course because it's Transformers and it's Michael Bay. It's like, but, but it made a billion. dollars. We know what to expect. But, but it made a billion dollars in China. I loved it because of Marky Marky Mark. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was the shot in the arm this franchise needed for me instead of Shia LaBeouf again. It's your big popcorn and your big yeah. drink. It's like but uh and then I so I want to get some popcorn. Right it's like, now. And so, it kind of so, sounds good. But, but, uh, I'm a little uh, hungry myself. But when he was making Age of Extinction, he was like, "This is my last Transformers." Movie. Then I could go and make another movie I want to make. I want to make a Benghazi movie. And the, and the, and the, and the, How was that movie? That was a good movie. You should watch that movie. It was I heard time. it was uh, mainly like fictionalized, though. Like what? It was, it was like he was he, he based it off of the novel, then he ba- and he talked to everybody that survived it, and so they were just good based off of those uh-huh. experiences. <laughs> it's just the government trying to fool you. <laughs> trying to Michael Bay's like a Republican, isn't he? I don't know what he is. I, think, I, I really think he is. He probably like, is. But anyway, he, his, his, so that's his, the his problem. His, 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 uh, at, the, at the very least, he's, a, he, he's like a supporter of the military, like a hardcore pro supporter. Yeah, I mean, military uh, supporter. Well, so he, that's the problem. Well, he's best friends. No, well, well, the, re- the, re- the reason why no, his films feature the military so prominently, aside from could be part of the aside reason. from pain and gain. Part of the why would you well, need the military pain and gain? Like, but um. Is because he's best friends. The, the, the military lo- loves his work. They, the, the, he, he always calls them up and say, "Hey, I'm doing a movie that needs the military. You want to do it?" It's like, "Cool, fuck yeah." So I'm are these mil- so what we've seen? They have, he has people guys in the military yeah. that are acting Actual, in his movies. Act, no, well, I mean, like, not, not, act, not people who are act, not military people who are acting in his movies, but they but they they, they consult the cast. They, like they, extra yeah, like in the background. But, but yeah, mm-hmm. if you need soldiers, he, he brings in actual soldiers as extras and stuff like that. But anyway, back to production stuff. After during Transformers Four, he's like, "This is my last movie. This is my last Transformers movie." And after that, I'm gonna go make something else, and then you guys can make Transformers Five and do whatever wherever you want. But I'm done with this. Mm-hmm. And so Transformers Five comes out, and makes a billion dollars, and by, and then and, and Paramount's like, "We want you to come back for Transformers Five. Oh my God, we we, we need you. We need you." Wait, they don't let up. Like, yeah. just and, he, and, he's, and he's like, "Come on, guys. I just want no hesitation. I just want. I just, <laughs> I just, I just, I, come on. I just want oh, more, more. I, They're gluttons. Yeah, it's like, I, I want to I wanna make. Like, I want to make." My thirteen hours in Benghazi movie. Can you can you please let me do that? Okay, we'll let you do that. We'll give you fifty million dollars to make it. We'll come back with Transformers Five. Fuck, fine. <laughs> it's like and, 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 and so, he sits so, in his room alone. To and, and, and so now and so now Transformers Five is being made, but with different writers this time. <laughs> Because cause the la- last three Transformers movies were written by one guy, Aaron Kruger, and those the, those were like the really stupid scripts. <laughs> it's like, but uh, but, uh, but 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 during <laughs> pr- during production of Thirteen Hours in Benghazi, what Paramount has what Paramount oh, yeah. and Hasbro has been doing is creating a writers room of people to make a Transformers cinematic universe, mm-hmm. and getting actual like good writers like Robert uh, Kirkman. Well, I thought it's like, and and I thought they wanted a Hasbro cinematic universe. Yeah, they wanted with. yeah something like that. But so Transformers and My Little Pony. Yeah, uh, My Little Pony. Yeah, I like to see oh, that. Of I, like, I like to see that universe. Like, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, but uh, who are you? My name's Rainbow Dash. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> it's like, boom, boom, boom. It's, but um. But they've they've been like, trying to compile like like their their uh, uh, their own cinematic universe and trying to get a get a get a beat down of what the plots of each movie is going to be. They're not going to be like the last of the movies and they just make things up as they go along. It's like they're actually going to stick make uh, have an overarching storyline and stick to it kind of thing. Mm. It's like so uh, so different writers are now are have done the script to Transformers Five. So maybe there's a chance that this one won't be as overblown as the last three movies were. Yeah. But Michael Bay is. But Michael Bay. To it. But Michael Bay got a Michael Bay. So you never know what's going to happen. Like, yeah. but uh, well, he took a little hiatus. Didn't yeah. He? And, uh, well, he took a little hiatus. From it would just be called he, he, Michael Bay Returns. He, he, he's like, 
Like, he, 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 he got away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what the, what do you, you know? Yeah. yeah. He got away from blowing up, he got away I from blowing up robots too. To, to, uh, <laughs> to do real life explosions and then, do, yeah. and then going back to blowing up robots again. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but I kind of feel bad for him because he, 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 every time he keeps, every time I try to get out, they pull me back in. Yeah, it's just, I, I can't sleep at night. Yeah. Can't you guys? Can't you guys just make Transformers Five with somebody else? Hell, no, I know, per- boss. hell, Pacific Rim Two has a different director than Guillermo del Toro. Oh, come on! <laughs> God, they yeah, just... uh... I I want more Guillermo del Toro movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that would be cool. Although was it, was Crimson this... Peak was a kind of a letdown. Which one? Crimson, Crimson Peak. Peak. Mm, you know, I thought that was his, that's his like uh, uh, gothic romance. I movie. thought Crimson mm. Peak was a um, a beautiful looking movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he makes uh, good films. It's like a, it's a really good like it was um it was intriguing up until a certain point and it just kinda got uh I wouldn't say silly, but yeah, kind of a little bit. Just I don't know. I just I, okay. mm-hmm. I don't know, it wasn't like Pan's Labyrinth. I think Pan's Labyrinth is his, his Casablanca man. Mm-hmm. Like his Yeah, that's what he's best. His known magnum for. opus. You his know? Magnum, and, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. A, magnum has opus. And he hasn't been as good since. He has he's been fun. And, or he's been stylized, but he just hasn't... That was, like, the film that really brought all of everything together. His mythology, the the, the crap that re- he's really into and everything, all of the crap that's in his house. <laughs> you know, like, all of his design, like, the shit that's in his head. But yeah. in a really concentrated story with a really great central villain. Yeah. If you want his magnum opus, you should watch Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Oh, right. That's right. That's when he... <laughs> Yeah. Did you guys like the Hellboy movies? I fucking yeah, love the Hellboy movies. Movie. Hellboy movies. movies are fucking amazing. Nice. I, I want I, more yeah. Hell- I agree. Like, Rob Perlman yeah. actively trying no. to get Hellboy 3 made. No, yeah. and yeah, and, and, you know, he's a, he's a really cool guy. With with everything that's been going on, I can't go to the movies and watch a movie and just be like, this is amazing. You know, now nowadays, nowadays when I'm watching a movie and I see something and I go, someone's going to have a problem with that. Oh well, no! Like, it's like I don't want you to have to go to a movie, yeah. you know, with that mentality. Yeah, like yeah. And, then, and then and like I'm not personally offended, but I'm just like someone's gonna be offended. You're like, that. oh no, what's happened to me? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like because because I remember when I saw Avengers: Age of Ultron. This is like the first time this happened was when I saw Avengers: Age of Ultron, and it gets to the point where where they're, they're trying to steal like that robot that would end up, end up becoming the Vision. And then Black Widow gets like snatched up by, by Ultron and flies away. I'm like, shit! Someone's gonna have a problem with her being kidnapped. Oh, uh, I, you know, then you make a point about that. Yeah, you, that is like that. Yeah. Now. Well, here's the here's the, here. You can't kill black people well, off in the beginning anymore. No, 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 no. They still fucking do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess do. they do. In, in fact, they do it more now than they did in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And that, 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 that's where the running joke came from, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's, the th- here's what I was going to say, and uh, we brought it up in um, my two geeks in a movie Ghostbusters thing. Uh, oh, I, <laughs> I gotta said, watch that, by the way. But, I have to see that. I've been meaning to. Do, do meaning you care about spoilers? That. Not at all. Please, spoil away. <laughs> spoil away. As, as everybody everybody was <laughs> saying, like, oh, this movie is so feminist. This is going to be such a feminist movie. I, and, and, then, and people were like, eh, why, even if, if it's a bad movie, why going to support <laughs> Ghostbusters is going to be important to women and everything? But here's the thing, as as important as this can be for women, Ghostbusters yeah, yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah. the man still gets a fucking sandwich at the end of the yeah. movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but the man gets a sandwich by another man. A woman doesn't give him a sandwich. The woman actually takes the sandwich away and the man gives it back. Now, what led up to that? What? What? He still has a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> what is no, well, this well, man with a sandwich? What, what well, is well, that? Well, 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 cause, cause, Just um, tell me. It's okay. Because... Chris Hemsworth's character Thor, you know? Yeah, I had like, a but, feeling but, when but you said he. I, it but, was but, him. but but uh, but um, he's like a really stupid fucking. Yeah, I heard. Secretary. I heard he's like a real he, stupid. He's, he was only cast because he, he was only cast as a secretary because he was hot and Chris Wood wanted to fuck him. His fuck his brains out. Which, which guy wanted? Uh, Kristen Kristen Wiig. Uh, yeah, one of the Ghostbusters. But yes. um, yes. but at at the end, um, he disappears for for like the last ten minutes of the movie. But then he comes back and he's got a sandwich with him, and they're like. Where, where have you been? And he's like, oh, um, I was looking for you guys, and then I walked into that sandwich shop, and I want, and then I was like, oh, I, I, I'm hungry. And then the rest of my car, he's like, give me that fucking sandwich, and like takes it and throws throws it off screen, and then like, and then all of a sudden he's just like, 
hey man, can you help me out? And all of a sudden the sandwich comes back into his hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and that was actually one of the funniest jokes of the movie. Was oh, it, it's was, gotta be. Like, cause, cause, I, I, cause I was telling you, it's fucking ironic that a movie that stars four talented women. Four talented, funny women, and the funniest character is the. Dumb hey, 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 it's Chris Hemsworth's <laughs> character. Exactly, that's what I thought. I, I that's what I thought. He was like, like the that. funniest character. Yeah, other than like Leslie Jones. I kind of like that. Yeah. I do. It's like, but yeah. um, but, uh, but when, when, when 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 people go like, oh, this is a feminist movie. It's like, like no, it's it's not. Like, it's it's really not. If you want to put that narrative in your head, yeah, sure, why not? But. Uh, I also sensed a very, uh, I mean, not 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 extreme, but sort of like noticeable um, case of uh, what's, the, what's the word, um, misandrist, misandry in it. I was gonna say misogyny. No, no, misandry mis- is the hatred of men. Oh, misandry. Like uh, <laughs> misandry. Yeah. So 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 uh, you know, misogyny is the hatred of women. Misandry is the hatred of men, because. Um, like, the first ghost of the movie is Let's Not Kill Ourselves. There's, like, a lot of, like, you know, Bill Murray was a chauvinistic pig. You know? uh, like, but, uh, like, Dan Aykroyd, like, to dream, oh, had a dream where a ghost, ghost gave him a blowjob. Blow yeah. It's like, I mean, Harold Ramis was probably, uh, Harold Ramis and, uh, Harold Ramis was a goofball, but he was a smart goofball. And, and uh, yeah. you know, the straight man, I mean, the straight character was, was, was Ernie Hudson's character. Yeah, he, he was, was kind of like the hip, the, the, uh, the, the cool, level-headed kind cool, of character. Cool, level-headed guy. He, he was, he was like, you know, whatever you pay me, I'll believe anything you tell me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, yeah. but it's like, but um, but and then then people are then people around him, you know, they didn't believe him. Like, people were assholes, people were pricks, but they're still like nice characters in his first throughout the movie. It's like, but and and, and and um, and and the female characters, they were they were they were um, they they were they're like you know quirky characters, but they they weren't presented in a very hateful manner, kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, but in in the female Ghostbusters, it's like every man in that movie. Is a fucking asshole, really, or a dumb shit? Okay, okay. Like, yeah. or, or 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 a creepozoic pervert. The only the only character you mentioned was Ernie Hudson's character, but I don't count him because he's a cameo. Oh so yeah, yeah. Like, but, now, but, every one of them, well, of course, except Harold Ramis, uh, it had a cameo, right? Yeah, it's like, but and, they did not have any. Um, Affiliation no, to no, no. Ghostbusters. But like, I also I, thought that know, all, uh, <laughs> almost all the female side characters were also kind of an yeah. asshole or yeah, but, but prick the, but no, or, or, uh, is, or dumb. Uh, dumb. But the yeah. thing is that they were, but the but we had four likable female leads. Like you could have. I could argue you, with you, the likable. You, <laughs> you, 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 have, you could have four likable yeah. male leads in Ghostbusters and still have a bunch of asshole guys. Sure. Like, but if you have four likable females and then have a bunch of asshole guys and one asshole girl, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it'd be funny if, like, though, if like, Rick like, Moranis but, but, had a, a because, cameo uh, too. You know, I don't know. And, you know, Chris Hemsworth was like stupid. It was fucking stupid as hell. But he was like funny. He was funny. Stupid. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was like a charming. Student. He was like, oh, you. I'm surprised you haven't forgotten how to breathe yet. Kind of thing. It's like, but uh, but even like Dopinder from from Deadpool, like it makes an appearance in the movie. And it's like, and you think like, oh, mm-hmm. he's probably gonna be like, you know, I'm tired of you, you shit. I'm tired of like trying. To, or wonton soup or something like that, yeah. or or he's trying to be reasonable. But then, like when he when he exit when he tries to exit a scene, he goes to Christian Wing and goes, <laughs> walks away. Oh, what do you mean? He just he, like, did he did he grope her? Did he he, grab like, her? he like gropes her arm and then walks away. And she's like, no, 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 and he like, kind of walks away. It's like, dude, not even like the fuck, not even Dopinder from Deadpool can 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 be a, a decent person in this wow, movie. Wow, 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 that is funny. No, yeah, but and you have a you have, mean, a you have a mayor who doesn't know how to do his job. Like, <laughs> everybody is like, just incompetent. Every, in the movie or everybody, something. Every guy is just incompetent. Like like the the, the, the I guess the mayor's aide, the girl. Like she could just get away with just being a bitch or whatever, or just being like, oh, mm-hmm. we'll support you, but we'll we'll just we'll just, we'll just like deny that you exist or are good at anything. It's like like that's one thing. But then if every guy's like an asshole or or something, then that's yeah. something else. Well, yeah, I mean, I heard that even after the sequel in 1989, that they were, mm-hmm. along the years, that were in, like, development hell for the third one. They mm-hmm. tried to get him, but Bill Murray kept, like, almost committing, but then would go back and mm-hmm. not commit to it. You know, mm-hmm. he didn't want to do it. And then, of course, eventually, Harold Ramis died. And uh-huh. it was like, and then why, all of a sudden, now, they're coming out with this Ghostbusters movie. Mm-hmm. Well, Harold well, you know, Ramis I mean, died, yeah. and then Columbia's just like, we've got to speed roll this now. Yeah, yeah do well, something. Because, but, because what, the thing is with that, with, um... 
with the the or, what their original plan for Ghostbusters three was is that they wanted a passing of the torch movie. They wanted yeah, the old they guys back and forth. They, they, they wanted and... they wanted to get the old crew back together to train a new team that would yeah. be that, that would be the franchise leads for 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 any 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 potential sequels. But 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 Columbia was like, eh, that's probably gonna cost a lot of money. I don't know if it's commercially viable. And he got Bill Murray being like, ah, I'm Bill Murray. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, like, don't, don't want to do it. Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't and know. And then he would kind of like go, like, kind of concise, like, okay, I'll do it. And then go, eh, yeah, man, actually, and, no. it's like, and then yeah, yeah Amy yeah. Pascal, the former head of Sony, now no, she's doing her own thing. But but she was like, I don't know, nah, blah blah. It's not the kind of Ghostbusters movie I would want to make, kind of thing. Wow. I don't know. And like, and then Harold Ramis is like, he's fucking dead. Yeah, let's make our own Ghostbusters I know, movie. It's weird how that you know happened. It's, it's like, let's, like let's what make, the let's, fuck? Like, cause, cause, what, After all that, it, it why felt, this? You know what like I mean? Columbia, yeah. It felt like Columbia was just leading them on until one of them, no. until one of them finally either either decided to either pass on or literally pass on. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, and, and to be like, okay, um, half of the creative crew is gone. Let's let's do what we want and make our own Ghostbusters movie. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I just did, I, I I thought it didn't work at yeah. all. Like I just no, it, I, did, I, it didn't. I mean, I'm not gonna like. I'm gonna angrily bash the shit out of that movie mm-hmm. because it didn't work. I just it's just like it's 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 such it's such a disappointment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after 27 years, it was mm-hmm. such a disappointment that I think my. And I wasn't angry, disappointed like I got with Man of Steel or anything. It was just like, <sighs> I just okay, didn't know. like, well, I'm just gonna move on. Like, like uh, it almost, it almost seemed like you knew what to expect. Like yeah. you're like, oh, well, either it's gonna be mm-hmm. suck or it's gonna like. Because like I, maybe I'll be surprised. Like, like, honestly, like, you didn't uh, give your hopes up going in there, you know. Mm-hmm. What I would have, uh, what I would have really have liked to have seen was, was a continuation of the original storyline, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah, yeah. And, and then a passing of a torch that way with, with like, with new, with, 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 with like, like an extreme Ghostbusters. Egon Spangler is the one that wrangles up a new set of Ghostbusters and shit. Yeah. And um and everything and he yeah. kind of oversees them and he becomes kind of like the new Janine of the group, kind yeah. of like he's just always at the headquarters and everything and then. Yeah, I would have liked to see that, and even though Harold Ramis is dead, like maybe it would it would be like Ray Stance this time around or something mm. like that. Because Dan Aykroyd's always been like a strong proponent of having a new Ghostbusters film, anyway. So like, yeah. so Ray Stance is the one that wrangles up a new team of Ghostbusters, oh. and maybe they were all females or yeah. something, you know? Maybe um, and then um, my buddy uh, Manny was like, well, what if um. What if uh, Holtzman w- w- wasn't said Spangler or something like she was yeah. the one that uh, because she's kind of like the nerdy one of the group anyway so maybe yeah. like that was the one daughter of like the one of the original uh, Ghostbusters and since Spangler's dead or something mm-hmm. she 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 with Ray Stance is the one helping to bring the group together or something mm-hmm. like that I don't know yeah that would have been much better I, yeah. I just. God, it is disappointing. I mean, now that we talk about this, it's becoming I mean, more like the, vivid. The thing is, like, you know, as, 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 as like, angry as I get, as angry as I get, or as, 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 as much as I get irked, the thing is, I can say is that it wasn't a train wreck of a movie. Like, right. but I almost kind of would have preferred it to be. Yeah. It's like, because, because, uh, yeah. if it was at least, like, yeah. a really terrible movie, it was just stupid. Dang, but still. Uh, like, like hilarious, maybe even hilariously stupid or something uh-huh. like that. Then maybe like that hasn't been done yet. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like if, it, if it was like the most offensive, insulting, re- way, yeah. re- if it was the most offensive or insulting excuse for a Ghostbusters movie. Hey, you know they go to say, like, let's bring back the ghost of Harold Ramis. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. If, if, like if it, if it was if it was like an absolute balls to the wall, what the fuck Hollywood kind of a movie. That like it, it would I would it, it would have been like at least memorable. It would have been like, yeah. like, that, like that's yeah. something to remember, like how not to do a remake, or, or, or just like just like how a bunch of bad decisions can lead to a fucking train wreck of a movie. Mm. But 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 the movie as is, it's just it's just mediocre. It's just the thing that's there. It's the that thing that sucks. It's just the thing that happened. That fucking sucks. It's like, and that's almost worse to me. It's just, it's it like, is. Yeah. Yeah. No. It is. It is. Yeah. And that's why I, I guess I I don't want to like. adamantly 
bash the fucking shit out of the movie is because I don't want to waste the energy yeah. on something that is yeah. utterly it, it, forgettable. It kind of <laughs> speaks for itself. Yeah. Right? I know, like... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't walk yeah. out of the theater as angry as I did as I did when I saw Fantastic Four. Which one? The, the newest one. <laughs> oh, you mean you were... The, 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 I was genuinely fucking pissed. Wow, that movie. Yeah. Were you with him at the no, time? No, he wasn't. No, no, I, I actually saw that at an early screening. I saw, yeah. I saw Fantastic what Four. What did you think of it? Oh, you do. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So we what do I, what similar... did I think of Fantastic I actually never really posted too much about what I thought about it because I... I it wasn't that I didn't care. Actually, I don't. And, I, and that's mostly because I don't care about the Fantastic Four characters. I was never a fan of Fantastic Four mm. in the comic books. I just... They were they were superheroes that I wrote off completely because I just didn't find them fascinating. The only one I found fascinating was the Thing. Like, I didn't yeah. give a fuck about Mr. Fantastic. He was a bland-ass motherfucker. Uh, I didn't care about Sue Storm. She was bland. I didn't care about Johnny Storm. He was a little less bland. Johnny Storm. That sounds like a porn name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but know, but Johnny Storm or Johnny Blaze, would you like? Uh, yeah. But, yeah, but, but that's Ben true. Grimm, that's the true. thing. Both of them. Yeah. Ben Grimm, the thing, was always somebody comparable to kind of like the Hulk, except he had this Brooklyn accent, and I was like, that's kind of cool. I mean, he mm-hmm. sounds kind of cool. And Good I thought, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I always. You're talking about the Hulk. But, uh... <laughs> no, no, I know. Uh, uh, that's right, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> it was like, what? No, no, no. Frig, no. What are you talking about? No, no, I was, um... Oh, my Jesus! <laughs> um... I didn't like the first two Fantastic Four movies. Uh, the one with Jessica Alba and, um... And uh, Captain America. And Chris Evans. <laughs> um... Yeah. But, like... I I, I I just didn't like them, but I liked Michael Chiklis as the thing. Oh yeah! Like he he made he Michael he. Chiklis. I I really enjoy, like if I envisioned the thing as like a prosthetic, and every all that stuff like that was probably the closest I'll, I'll ever get to like seeing the thing on fucking screen and everything. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not talking about like the Roger Corman version either. It's probably more comic book accurate. I have to say that the, wow. the Roger Corbin version is probably the closest looking to the comic book thing, yeah. <laughs> and really? still being and still being a prosthetic, by the way. Uh, but I mean, I I haven't even seen the the that train wreck that that's Roger Corbin. I've seen it. And have you? It's it's, a, it's actually it's actually a decent movie. <laughs> really? Uh, like in, 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 compa- in comparison to, to the, the ones we've gotten, the ones we've gotten, it's it actually it's actually not that bad. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. It's stupid. It's like, uh, like, and it's it's not a very well acted movie, but there is there's a, heart in there's, it. There's a bit of a heart. In it. <laughs> like, there's a bit of a charm mm, to it. Yeah, because it's made on a budget with people that like comic books. Yeah. <laughs> like, the costumes, um, like the thing costume was probably made out of the issues of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Um, so the new Fantastic Four movie, I think, I came out liking probably a little better than the first two. But that's mostly because I don't like the Fantastic Four movies, wow. and 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 I had this argument, I guess, when I saw the first, when I saw it in theater, uh, after I saw it, yeah, which was people that aren't direct fans of Superman, and I'm saying like the people that appreciate the character, but aren't really into the lore like I got into the lore mm-hmm. and like I, I, write, I have like a bunch of back issues of Superman I I was reading a bunch of it I've seen every single fucking like TV show I'm really a big Superman I'm a bigger Flash fan but I'm a really really big Superman fan probably before Batman wow. in, in some regards people that are not like me went into came out of Man of Steel really liking Man of Steel or at least liking Man of Steel enough, saying like that was probably a really that, that was a really really good Superman movie, and I'm like, no, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> no, it really. Well, I hate that fucking movie. How can they say and, that? And then and then, but, but, no, 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 because because, because they 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 went in liking movies and just passively liking Ma- Superman, but being more Batman fans. Oh, I, I don't know. See. I'm I'm a bigger Superman fan than I am a Batman. Really? Fan. Yeah. Oh well, Daryl, you are too, huh? I am. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, but the thing is, I don't, I don't really read 
Superman comics. I just watch. I watched the cartoon. I watched Smallville, and I and I've watched the Christopher and Reeve I, movie. So I'm I'm familiar with Superman on those levels. And and, and I'm and, I think and, I'm more familiar with Superman on those levels, and then and then and, and more and then some. And then some. <laughs> and then it's some. Like, it's like, but but it's like for like for me, what what I what. What I, I I've never really told a lot of people like before Man of Steel came out like like what I've always I was I was kind of getting in terms of film I was kind of getting tired of the goofy Superman uh, like and, uh, let's like, see like the, and, and and I I wanted a serious Superman movie and and and, like, I, and I, I, I yeah. wanted I wanted a movie that that like had that that was like a large scale battle Superman movie because like a lot of like. Because um, Superman Returns didn't really offer like a fight scene or something like that. It, it, yeah, it, it didn't really have. It didn't have super, because the the common complaint everyone had about Superman Returns that Superman never punched anything. So people, mm. so, uh, so and I was one of those people. Like as much as I kind of, as I liked Superman Returns more than he did, because I was like, oh, that was a good throwback to the Donner films. Oh yeah, but, but, yeah, but, yeah. But, but 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 come on, let's move on, guys, and get to an actiony Superman movie. And I didn't so, like but, Lex Luthor and Superman Returns at all. Yeah, like, like but um, but anyway, and um. It's like when 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 I imagine like a Superman fight, like in like in a, in like a live action sense, I sort of imagine something like Dragon Ball Z. If you're ever familiar mm. with oh, that, oh no, yeah, where, like, yeah, people yeah. are fighting really fast and like hitting people oh, through walls. Yeah. But like, he super, wouldn't super, be. But he wouldn't be destructive. Yeah, but like, but, like, but like, at the same time, like so like I mean that's like just twelve year old me just being oh, like yeah explosions, yeah, 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 destruction, yeah, yeah. Ugh, hardcore, yeah, yeah. Michael metal, Bay direct metal, please, metal <laughs> kind of thing. Oh like, yeah. But, but um yeah I get but, it. But, so, so I want I wanted like a serious like hardcore action Superman movie uh-huh. with 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 like a, with like a ton of fights or something like that and like just to make up for all the non fights we've had we've had for the last for in terms of cinema in terms of Superman cinema it's like but um and so when I saw Man of Steel it was a serious Superman movie not not a lot of humor in it and then the last part of my movie was just balls to wall destruction and fighting wow it's like and then and I was just like oh fuck yeah that's the Superman movie I've always wanted it's uh, like it's incredible oh my god it's like, so it was it, a combination of both yeah and, and so and so uh, and then I go on the forums and all, all of a sudden everyone's like that's not Superman that's the worst fucking movie ever and I'm oh. like oh uh, well, people don't people don't like my Superman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they don't like. Here's the oh, thing. my here's Superman. The, here's the thing. I I I wouldn't have minded the the battle sequences in Man of Steel if they were just toned down or trimmed up a little bit. And I, maybe maybe not necessarily even toned down, but just trimmed up a little bit because it went on for fucking. It felt like a good, the goddamn last half of a Transformers movie. Really? I, I, I'm not it even fucking a- lying to you because that, that, I think that's one of the, my biggest disappointments of it because because I came out of it and it's like, what the fuck did I just watch? Uh, did my you Michael really? Bay direct this? Oh, like, I, so expect, was- I expect more out of Zack Snyder. And that yeah. says something about how much I like Zack yeah. Snyder going into, okay. going into that. But, um... Um, I just, uh, I, you were disappointed because oh, you were no, no, expecting wait, wait. more. Here's, here's, the th- here's the thing. With Man of Steel, they were trying to go really dark and serious and everything. But you, they don't understand that you can still have a, a, a serious Superman, but still have some of that lightheartedness and, yeah. uh, and, and, and tones in the film. Like the right. color tone is all drab. And I guess it's okay sometimes, but if you really just brighten up the color a little bit, and you sped the pace up a little bit, and you gave Clark Kent and Superman, hey Joe, yeah, uh, when 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 uh, when when it's time, can you take me home? Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um. So you gotta, uh, you know, <laughs> Clark. Clark. Yo, know, you can have a, you know, you can have. Clark Kent and Superman be serious. Uh, George Reeves did it, and he was a, a fairly serious Superman, uh, even in the 50s. And a lot of people think, you know, that 50s show was kind of campy, and it, it kind of wasn't. It was not that 60s Batman. The Superman from the 50s was pretty fucking serious, actually. Yeah. There was one time when, uh, in, in the first season, there was um, uh, uh, an episode where uh, a couple of uh, burglars or whatever people that 
bad guys, a couple bad guys, yeah. found out that Clark Kent was Superman and threatened to go to like the newspapers if Superman didn't help them uh, steal a bunch of cash or whatever, oh, wow. right? Yeah. And, and so because Clark Kent doesn't want to hurt them, he didn't know really what to do. So he had he ended up actually going into like a vault or something and then yeah. taking cash out. But then he figured like, oh, I know what to do about you guys. And um, he took both of them like the collars and then put them on like a really high mountain peak and then just like left them there. And the burglar's like, you just can't leave us here. And then he just kind of flies away. And they're like, come on, we're going back down to the city. And they start climbing down the mountain. They fall to their deaths. Oh my god. So 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 they're they're. Their knowledge of Clark Kent as Superman kind of went with them to to, to and die, like, you and set I, him up and, for that. And, and me and my buddy Strider were, were watching this. We're like, did, did Superman just inadvertently fucking kill these people? <laughs> like, like, it's like, like yes, Batman. He did. And then we, I just thought of Batman Begins. It's like, I don't have to kill you, but I don't have to watch you die. I don't and you. I'm like, I don't like this show. Just got really dark. <laughs> Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. But um. So, but yeah, you you can you can have. A serious Superman, with without doing what they did in Man of Steel, with, with, and I, I didn't, I didn't. The first half of the movie when they're on Krypton, the first part of that movie when they're on Krypton, was just nothing but special effects and action, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't, I didn't like it. Because I was just like, we, I didn't, I didn't get enough time to feel for the Laura character or the Jarrell character, and even though they're trying to add a third dimension to the General Zod character, uh, they, I didn't get that third dimension. It was just like, uh, join me, Jarrell, because you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fucking like, no, Michael Shannon yeah. being, uh, you know, hamming it up on screen and everything. I just didn't. Um, <laughs> Michael's I didn't connect with any of these characters because yeah. they were not relatable. They and, and I'm not saying aliens should be relatable or anything, but just give me something to care about, like Wally or something. Oh, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, just yeah. just just give me just another fucking 15 minutes of character exposition if you're gonna put that much action sequence into the first five fucking minutes of the film, <laughs> and then you know give me something to care about, like the Richard Donner director's cut. Of uh, the first Superman movie, the director's cut of the Superman movie, we are we get that extended sequence on Krypton, and Jor-El's like, well, Krypton is dying, and then you know he's he's before the Council of Elders, and the Elders is just like, be reasonable, you know, come on, jor -El, be reasonable, uh... <laughs> you know, and he's like, and and then we get more of the destruction of Krypton, and everybody's kind of dying, and then we. The, the the everything's crumbling around the the Kryptonian ship uh, that's that has baby Kal El in it and everything um, and I thought that was really really well done I I still think the, the the first Superman movie is the best Superman movie that we have so far <laughs> uh, right. as far as far as everything and um, uh, you know the the character development. And general story of, of Superman just terraforming the Earth to be Krypton and everything. Just, yeah. I, I just, I don't know. That's, uh, it was, first of all, it wasn't explained very well. And then I just thought that whatever was explained, the, the character development wasn't there for me to care about these characters doing what they were doing. Especially mm. Superman's whole story arc. You're falling asleep. I was <laughs> it's uh, like, no, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm falling asleep. asleep. No. I'm listening to it. I, 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 I think he's just thinking thoughtfully. Uh, no, I'm thinking really thoughtfully uh, as I'm snoring. No, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I'm kidding. I, 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 um, I thought, yeah, I thought Clark's story arc didn't make any sense because... One second he's trying to hide himself from everybody, yeah. and then he has this like moment of epiphany after seeing his biological father, and it's like, oh yeah, of course I'll wear this suit and fly around and save people. Oh, uh, like, oh, what? Like, so like, it, it just was, happened it was, and it went. And and, and 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 honestly, it was it was as sloppy as two characters saying Martha to each other. 
<laughs> I, that was sloppy wow. as shit too. I did not like that at all. Um, God, from 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 Batman v Superman, I thought it was just a sloppy way. It was a sloppy way to try and get two characters who have been arguing this entire fucking time to be best friends, and I'm just like, They're that's... not best friends. Or whatever. Why, 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 would, why are people making this fucking leap that they're the besties friends in the world? Because Mar- when he saved Martha, he was just like, I'm a friend okay. of yourself. Well, he's saying that to get her to trust him. Uh, <laughs> 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 like, if it, I'm a friend of your son. It would be like, it, it, he would just be like, you would just grab her and jump out of a window or something like that. She'd be like, who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine she has maybe heard of the Batman and know he's probably a good guy saving her at least. <laughs> and instead of oh. having to be a friend of her son. It, 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 it <laughs> didn't seem like she knew him. Uh, she, 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 uh, she, she, she didn't say, oh, you're Batman. She was like, oh, I, I figured. I was like, she's... Uh, no, I, 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 he just understands who Clark is. He understands what super, that Superman but, isn't, but, isn't but like they, a killing they, machine. But then, like right before he gets killed by Doomsday, he's like, they're they're kind of making like little quips to each other, like 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 a buddy comedy almost. Uh, is she with you? I thought she was with you. I'm like, or uh, and, and stuff so like that. Why? I'm like, no, so it doesn't why? work that why, way. Why? 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 Why can't people talk to each other like that? And he knows fucking. Bruce knows full fucking well who she is, too. <gasps> exactly. She she's not human. <laughs> yeah, but he knows who she was. Why would he even, like, make that joke during that... I don't know. I don't... I just... Uh, now... It's still fun to watch. I just had my problems with, <laughs> with the character development and dialogue, as I had in both movies. Both in Man of Steel and, 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 and Batman v Superman. I, and I actually blame David as Square. Well, I, I was, can't. I don't. I don't even necessarily blame Zack Snyder because he's basically just putting on screen what's written a oh. lot of times. You know, he has so, some state say in the stories mm-hmm. story structure, but he's not writing the script directly. Who is writing it? Uh, David Escoyer wrote both fucking scripts mostly, and then um, for Batman v Superman, uh, Chris Terrier. Chris Terrier came, came in, and Chris. he's an Oscar winner, but I don't even know if he could have saved. Well, Chris Terrio, saved it at that point. It was confirmed that Chris Terrio, he took like the outline of Goyer's draft and made it his own. So whatever whatever was on screen was Terrio. Well, with Goyer's story, with Jeff Johns' input, with Jeff Johns' uh-huh. input, who is a comic book writer who is now oh, yeah? of the DC universe. So, so like like I could I could look back on three hundred and I could look back on Watchmen mm-hmm. and say. Hey, Zack Snyder did a good job with these, both these movies with a solid oh, sure. like script and and comic book to, to work off of. And this is yeah. these are just comic book characters with a sloppy script, sloppy scripting. Um, yeah, that's that's why I don't like Man of Steel very much, man. I <laughs> I, I just I not very much. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, like it, it, it bug it bugs me. It let you down. It let me down. <laughs> it let me <laughs> down. I knew it was you, Frito. You let me. Do, you broke my heart. But uh, but uh, a, a lot of movies are, you know, let you guys down, right? Not 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 as many let me down as much as they let Daryl down. Yeah. When I when I'm not let down, I'm let down hard. Like, but 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 most of the time I'm just like, meh. Or oh, that was enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh, that's god, that's so fun. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like if, if, if it's something that genuinely makes me angry. Like then, like then, 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 like you would know it. But if it's like a movie that's just like mediocre, or it's just something that that's just like eh, it wasn't great, but you know I had fun. I'm just yeah. like I just say that. Just, you know, great, movie I, I saw it recently that was uh, mediocre. Oh mm. God, it was bad. Mm. Uh, it was Independence Day two. Yeah, that wasn't resurgence. That, was, that, wasn't, yeah. a great, that <laughs> wasn't a great movie either. God, I didn't, I didn't watch it. I, I kind of, I, I, it kind of like it was in the theaters for like a blank. Yeah. It's like the, the thing is like I went to a double a fe- blink, yeah, I went to a double weird. feature and played the first movie and then I played the second movie. Ma- watching the first movie made the second movie that much worse. Yes. It's like it's that's like that's what it's I like, mean. It's like if you thought things were bad in the first no, one. No, because cuz cuz the first movie is like was like a classic to me. No, it's, no, it's, 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 it's like it's like I saw it's, it's, the theater it's, it's too. like it's like one of like 96. it's like one of the ultimate big budget B movies. Yeah. And like but but it had uh, but uh, but it Welcome was, to it, Earth. It, it was, it was <laughs> so yeah. much fun to watch. Oh my god. From back in 96 to now. It was like so much fun. You know watching it in the theater like after all these years I'm like damn this is the fucking best. Oh it's yeah. Like, and like and um 
and like, and then and then then we come up with the sequel, and I'm just like, all right, this this is fine. Well, the visual effects are nice. Ooh, nice world building. And then, uh, but then by the end of it, I'm just like, well, I mean, I didn't hate myself, but whatever. <laughs> it's, it's I like, hate myself for giving him my money. Was yeah. Jeff Goldblum in the movie? Jeff Goldblum. Was yeah, like, he actually well, is. Well, Jeff Goldblum. Everybody except Will Smith. Yeah, everyone. Everyone's like Will Smith. Because Will Smith was like. So ah, okay, Fox I and Bill Pullman. Yeah. Well, yeah, and his character's a little wacky. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. So and like, um, like, like it started, was, off, it started off well enough. Like I was like, oh, maybe this is gonna be good. It's like, and then, and like, and then, then it just and got to the a fucking point. doctor, the guy that got attacked in the first one and everything. I mean, yeah. Like, he, 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 he somehow, God, he, he somehow still the, alive. The, I swear, it was like a kids' movie yeah. watching it. I mean, the jokes are like pee pee jokes or uh, something. You know, it was, like, then, it was like then, not funny at all. And then, then Jeff Goldblum randomly has a like has a love interest that's not the girl from the first movie. Like really Texas bad pee pee jokes. Yeah, and that's okay because in in the Lost World Jurassic Park he had a love interest that wasn't from the first movie. Oh, he yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. It was Julianne Moore, right? Yeah. Hmm. No, no, but, but 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 in the first movie Jeff Goldblum wasn't going through like a divorce storyline and, and yeah, he was. Oh well, no, he was already divorced. Yeah, but he wasn't reconciling <laughs> with his ex wife uh, in Jurassic Park. And who was his ex wife in the Jurassic Park? The first. No, movie? there there was there was no ex wife. Oh, it was just Park. insinuated. It, it was just it was insinuated that, that that he was that he was divorced, but. Yeah. Uh, but in Independence Day, he was divorced from this from this girl who was working at the White House, and then at the end of the movie, it looked like they were reconciling. And then the second movie comes around, completely fucking ignores that, and then, and then all of a sudden he has like this off and on again with this, some some scientist lady in the second yeah. movie. I'm like, what happened to the other one? We explained what happened to fucking Will right, Smith. Right, it was the redhead, right? Yeah. What happened to Will Smith? He died. Like he, Yeah, they said at the beginning, yeah. they just said, it was, there was like his portrait or his favorite. And, yeah. like, and the son was even in the movie like, Doing for you, this for you, Dad. Yeah, for you or pups. something like that. Wait, like, Jane Smith? No, no, not Jane Smith. Oh, it was, it was, it was, oh, not as real. Not as real. His character's son. Oh, okay. Like, son but, 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 yeah, God, like it was so the, the, hokey. The, the, they were they were testing out like some sort of alien craft, and then Will Smith crashed it and blew up. It's like really dumb. It's like a really well, dumb. Well, way to Will write him Smith out. has not is not known to be t- has, is not known to take good roles. Mm. Yeah, you know he turned down Django. He turned down Neo. Wait, he, he turned was, down Neo. He, was he turned for down Django. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was Django? the first. Like, Tarantino wrote Django Unchained for Will Smith. I can't believe that. And Will Smith's like, I actually want to uh, make this M Light Shyamalan movie with my son over here yeah. called. Uh, you know, you know yeah. to be fair, and I, that sucked. To, uh, to be fair, I think he after really good as Django. Huh? Like with, with Tarantino's direction, I think he would have been really good as Django. He would have been really good, it's but like, then, but then, like, at first he's like, um, he's like, oh, too much uh, swearing, too much yeah, wait, he, 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 his excuses range from like, uh, my schedule, my co- my schedule conflicts with the shooting of of Tarantino's movie. Uh, Django wasn't the main character; it was uh, the the German guy who was the main yeah. character. I was like, no, you're the main character because. Your you, name's on the poster. <laughs> and you survive. <laughs> it's like, not, yeah. not, not only that, but you become the main character. You become, like, the definitive main character in the last 30 you know, minutes of the movie. He, he was making it a, an excuse. Yeah. To, like, for... It's like, but I think he would have done a really good job. I mean, Jamie Foxx did a great job. Oh, he did Django. do a good job. It's like, but, 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 like, Will Smith turning that down, that was, like, a big mistake. And like, but, and then to do After Earth, I mean, After Earth, I don't hate it as much as other people did, but it was, like, a mediocre. Like, of course. It's like, but, um, I mean, it was better than The Last Airbender, that piece of shit. The Last Airbender, oh my god, A piece of fucking garbage. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but, you're like, actually, a, I, you're like, a, hey, you're like, I went off on a bender. You know, I heard decent things uh, about The Visit. Yeah, the, the Visit's actually not bad, because it's not based off of something that's classic. <laughs> the Visit. But it was like, but, but, I, like, M. Night, and like, M. Night, like, I have, like, a love-hate relationship with the guy. Like, I, I, I love The Sixth Sense. I Love Unbreakable. And Unbreakable was, was amazing. Like, Unbreakable is an yeah, amazing heard, superhero yeah. movie. It's like and um and then like and then uh, then I I thought Signs was really good. Yeah, I did, the, I enjoyed it. The, the village, but it was fucking. I, I mean, I don't know. The, the village was just okay. Like I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. But it was like it was something I could watch. It was like oh, all right, this is fine. Lay in the water, I think, is a little bit underrated. But it probably would have been great if M Night Shyamalan didn't cast himself in an important role. Like, cause, cause he, he, in, in, in Lady in the Water, he casted himself as like, a, uh, and, and like, he casted him, himself 
as a writer who would go on to make the greatest piece of literature that would that would that would inspire the greatest leader of our nation kind of thing. Oh my it's like, gosh. It's like it's like that was like the reason why the leading the water was present to inspire this guy into continuing his work and making this book. So one day someone would be inspired by his work to become this great le- this great uh, like world leader or something like that. And that's all well and good. The problem is he casted himself as that role, as that guy. If it was somebody else, if it was some other actor, it would have been like, oh, that's that's really touching kind of thing. But if it's M. Night, it's like a fucking egomaniac, that guy. Is like, he? Is he? It's a, yeah, he's, he's got the ego the size of a planet. But but it's like, but, but, I, but, I, uh, but um, everything around everything around him in Lady in the Water I thought was good. It just, his part was not good. The happening was just like, that was that. That's the uh, that's one uh, like his first train wreck, the happening, when you got Mark Wahlberg talking to plants to get them to calm down, or uh, trying to outrun. Oh them, my gosh! Or try, I saw that in theater. Or trying too. to outrun their wind. It's like it's, yeah. it's like that was that was just like hilarity of the highest caliber. I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking terrible. But it's like enjoyable to watch. But it's, I can't I can't take this movie seriously at any point in time. No. Like, but um. The last Airbender. But then, but the last Airbender was just a whole new level of shit. Cause, cause you're taking this classic, cause, cause, not like this, not even this class, this, cause it's not classic just yet. But you're taking this very well beloved show. I'm not gonna say it's a children's show either, cause there's some. I mean, it, it, it can be guilt geared to children, and there's a lot of children jokes and stuff. But mm-hmm. it, it's it's very adult in its subject matter. Oh, so it was too chill. And, too- and, and 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 but you're taking this very well beloved thing that people either grew up on or just discovered as adults or something. Yeah. And you're ga- you you you're, you're making a live action version of that, and you're just like, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, and you see the movie, and you're like, no, Whoa. no. <laughs> well, what's, what's funny is that when I watch it's a fucking a no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. 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 Because, yeah. Because, <laughs> when I watch no. it, because first I watched the entire series with my friend Elia, and we're like, that's fucking great. You went and no, then, and then and then, and then then we went and saw the movie, and we're just like, eh. And then, and then, but but then, but then I was like, okay, whatever. And then my parents, they, they knew that, that that I saw the last Airbender movie, and they're like, oh, how was it? And we're like, I was like, eh. It's like, but uh, it's like, it's like, oh, that's a shame. It's like, well, how's I'm on a coke bender. It's like, it's like, yeah. well, well, like, well, how's how's this how's the series? I'm like, oh, how's the series? So I so I bought the box. I bought uh, because me and me and my friend Ellie, we watched it, all of it uh, through renting the discs on Netflix. But then I ended up went off and bought the bought the series on DVD, and then I showed my parents. The uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender in its entirety over the next month or two, and they're like, "Max, this is, this is incredible. This is a great show. It's ending. Oh no, it's over. Oh, I, I love the characters. I love the writing. I love the yeah. animation. Such a great story. It's like, well, what the, and, I was, and I was like, okay, um, do you want to watch the movie <laughs> now? And they're like, okay, let's watch the movie. So the film came out on Netflix, and so I rented the movie, and I was like, and I was, and I was, I was like, okay, here you go. I put on the movie, and it's like, and like, it, it, for, like watching the movie immediately after watching the series, like, like Independence Day. It made oh, it, that it must made have it, pissed you it, off. It made it that much worse. I just realized, I was like, man, this movie's a fucking train wreck. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I was too nice on this thing when I saw it the first time. This is awful. And like, and then, um, and then like halfway through the movie. My mom turns to me and goes, "Max, this is awful." <laughs> Why did he go so? What what went so wrong? Like this, where did he well, go wrong? Uh, he was. I don't know what he was on, man. I think yeah. he was taking like mushrooms or something at the time. Yeah. But uh, like, because the writer, the the bender. creators of Avatar: The Last Airbender, met with M Night. M Night's like, my kid watches this. They're uh, big fans. I'm a big fan. I want to do this movie. And they're like, okay. And apparently. I think the first draft of the script, the, the, the was amazing, they were like, right? oh my god, yeah, yeah. The writers were just like, yes, 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 you're perfect for this. And, uh, of course, we love the sixth sense and everything. And then they're all buddy-buddy and shit. And then um, somewhere between that and the end product, mm. <laughs> everything went wrong to, to why he felt like the uh, pronunciations of certain names needed to be pronounced the certain... Uh, like the the, the, the way uh, like 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 Ang became Ung, uh, Sokka became Soka. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> um, it, it was just it was it was pretty bad. And then, um, uh, the I don't even know if 
if it was a special effects thing or whatever. Uh-huh. But like you know, uh, the the earth benders. <laughs> Couldn't bend Earth. They were just bending like they were just like bending throwing throwing dirt in people people's faces or yeah. whatever yeah. or yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck. Right? Hey, can you see a clip of it or yeah. something? Uh, you can uh, find it. Uh, all the all the all, all, the, all the Chinese people were replaced by Indians. Oh, oh yeah, all the Asians were like. All the Asians were either white people, or, or well, actually, all you, the, all the all the Eskimos were replaced by white people, and all the all the Asians were replaced by Indians. What, and then, and just regular American Indians, those ones? <laughs> yeah, and then, um... And no, 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 the, no, like, like Indians from the India. Turban. Like, Indians from India. Oh, the, 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 the turban. The, 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 the Asians were only for the, uh, the Earthbenders. Yeah, they're just for show. Jeez, what's that movie? What is it about, anyways? What's it about? Fuck, we're that's gonna watch a, that's, another, that's honestly another conversation. You gotta go through that again. That's yeah. a conversation for another day. Oh, Maybe shit. we could sit down and start watching the series again or something. Oh, okay, all right. But, all, all but, uh, know is it's a great series. Yeah, it's 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 excellent. Very well done, and its uh, sequel series, The Legend of Korra, is very well done as well. <laughs> I really liked Legend of Korra, and it got more adult with <laughs> the Legend of Korra. I like, I like, oh, like, good. I like the second half of Legend of Korra more than I like the first half. You didn't like a mom, a mon. No, I fucking hated him. On. He was so fucking bullshit. Like, like, no, no, just, no, just, just, um, like the first and second seasons of Legend of Korra were like they ranged from really, it was it ranged from bad to okay, and like, and then but then season three and four were absolute masterpieces. <laughs> oh, season season three with fucking Henry Rollins, yeah. right? What? What's his, um, well, he was the main villain in that. And yeah. That um, that, that was sick. that was the best season. That was and his his character was a fucking amazing. And I forgot his oh, character's that's name, but fucking awesome. He was uh, I that, love Henry that, Rollins. that, that third cool. season of Legend of Korra was amazing. Oh, that's great. I wanna. God, I'd I'd love to include him. So on something so naturally, too. M Night Shyamalan's gonna do Legend of Korra now. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna Korra's gonna be called Kara. Kara. <laughs> he's gonna lay it on thick with the lesbian stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, God, I'm just so tired Kara. of this, this despicable nonsense. You know, yeah. it's just like. Hey, it hasn't been done before. It hasn't been ruined before. Yeah. yeah uh, I guess I got to do it for that reason. Now. Cor Cor is gonna be a. Uh, He's a restroom. Cor, yeah. Cor is gonna be played by a Manda Seafried or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ruined forever. I, I wouldn't be surprised, Daryl. You're not too far off, probably, from the tree. Kristen yeah. Stewart. Oh. Oh fuck. No. Oh, mi- Miss Personality. Kristen. Mm. No, Kristen Stewart Miss, as, hey, as as Miss as, Charisma. As, um, as uh, um, what's 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 the other girl's name in Legend of Korra? Asami. 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 Because it's Asami. Oh, jeez. Hey, this is great. Fucking hey, <laughs> Duro, do you mind if I get some coffee? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, my friend. <laughs> I, I just didn't know if there was anything there. Yeah. yeah. And that's all the time we have for today. Guys, thank you very much for listening in. Um, and we'll see you next time on Pod of Nerds. And until then, live long and geek on.